World Strat President Jim Hansen joins me now. So, Jim, what's actually happening down in Texas? The greatest thing about federalism is the states get to do the right thing if the federal government won't. Now, nobody knows how this plays out when it gets Supreme Courted, but what it's played out in the court of public opinion is as one side wants to protect people from an illegal alien invasion and the other wants to continue its open borders policy and doesn't care about all the damage that does. I think that's something that's a winner for our side. And does anybody really think in an election year Biden's going to roll tanks on the uh, Texas <laughs> National Guard? I hope he does. I mean, either way, his base is going to get angry. I mean, if he rolls tanks down there, the press is going to have his head. And if he starts cutting down razor wire, the whole country is going to vote him out of office. So, I mean, he's really put in a tough spot here. I, I don't know what he does. I know he's trying to get back at Texas by blocking the natural gas export plan. I mean, this guy is a real nasty guy. That's one thing we've seen about him all along, is he will use any piece of power to maintain the power the Dems have aggregated for themselves. I think the nice thing here was first Governor Abbott stood up, and then the rest of the Republican governors stood up and got his back. That, to me, was a very telling moment. It said, we're not going to just allow the President of the United States to abdicate his authority and the oath he took to protect and defend the Constitution and let our citizens be put in jeopardy because he wants a new voter base. Ain't going to happen. Now, I, I loved seeing that. If Trump gets reelected and he starts locking down the border, do you think all of these Republican governors are going to run the other way? I mean, it's always like when you need them, they're never there. But if it's posturing, they show up. Well, the funny thing is, if you want a border policy that worked for all the things the Democrats now seem to be highly in favor of, there was one in 2018 and 2019, and it worked perfectly. They don't actually want one. They want the appearance of one that still keeps the borders open. They're, the things they put out so far would still allow 5,000 illegals a day to just run through. That's their, that's their cut down, which is $2 million a year. And they don't want it. They want to project their lack of interest in this and pretend it's the Republicans who don't want it. And I think people are a little too smart for that. Yeah, two million is not a solution. No, <laughs> two million is absurd. We're not going for that anymore. All right, Jim, have a great weekend. Behave yourself in that radical castle it looks like you built for yourself down there. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.